Good morning, boys and girls. Hope you guys had a good day yesterday. I know it was a little gloomy out. Today is much nicer. The sun is shining. It's a little chilly, but um, get outside. Get your stuff on your learning matrix done and then get outside and play. I thought today I would do a little how-to video. You guys all know I'm a big proponent of recycling and trying to figure out different ways to use materials um, so that it doesn't just become trash. So today I'm going to show you how to start seeds using a gallon of milk. Right now is a perfect time to start tomato plants in indoors and it's really fun to watch them grow and they kind of become your own little babies that you can take care of. You can buy seeds at Hy-Vee, Walmart, hardware store, um, but just thought I'd share a little project with you to try out maybe this weekend if you have the time. So what I'm gonna do is hopefully you guys can see this. I just have a uh, empty milk jug that I rinsed out quickly with water. Now for this next part, you're gonna want help with a, from a parent. What we're gonna do is we're gonna cut all the sides of this milk carton except we're going to leave one side as a hinge so do this very carefully and you can use a box cutter works best but you can also use a scissors but again please ask for your parents permission and also make sure they are around or helping you with this part this is about the only part that they're going to need to help you with okay so I'm cutting three sides and then I'm going to leave one side as kind of like a hinge to be able to open it like that. Okay. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to fill the bottom part with dirt. I'm kind of hold it down in this part you guys can do on your own. Before I fill it with dirt though I'm going to make sure I have a couple holes in the bottom so that water can drain out. Okay. You should do this part first, actually. I... There we go. I've got a couple holes in the bottom. And then I'm going to put dirt in there. Now, you guys can either buy potting soil, but if you don't want to spend the money on it, if you guys have a garden, you can take dirt right out of your garden or if you find a spot where your parents don't mind uh, you taking a little bit of dirt, this does not take much dirt. It's about two, three cups that you need to put in the bottom of this, okay? You can also add um, like used eggshells in the bottom and it feeds the plants, so that's kind of cool. Okay, so I'm gonna fill this up really good with the potting soil and then you want to put water in it. And I always put warm water in it to start because I figure the new seeds would probably like it warm. Okay. You want to make sure there's enough that it's dripping out the bottom, which you can see it is. And then the fun part, planting the little seeds. I'm going to plant about five of these itty bitty tiny seeds in here. And I'm just going to push them down until it covers my, um, kind of like my fingernail. That's about how deep you want to put them. They're just so little and delicate. You can barely see them. But you want them good and wet. And sometimes I even plant like two seeds in a hole. You can always go back and take, pick between the two plants that grow, which one's a little bit stronger. Okay. And then you take duct tape. And you're going to duct tape all of it together again. So just get one big piece of duct tape. And then wrap it around. And it's not going to be like super beautiful or pretty, but you can decorate it if you want to. I'm just doing this quick. You're going to wrap it around like that and then get a Sharpie and label tomatoes or whatever kind you did. Um, whatever seed you planted. And then the best part is you guys can just leave this out. It made its own little greenhouse. So you've already got the water in it. Add a little bit if you notice it getting dry 
Otherwise, you've got your own greenhouse you can leave outside.